Hey everybody, what's up? Devin here, back with another video. Today, we are playing um, some, you know, more ABD modded. We got Oni. I won Oni from a giveaway. I, so, crazy story. I won, um, so I answered the giveaway for ABD modded. I won an Oreo King Crimson, right? And I won that, and I got that in, in a regular ABD. And then I joined the next giveaway for the Oni, and I win that. So it's two in a row, which is amazing. Which, the, the sheer amount of luck is, you know, going into that is crazy. But anyways, we got Oni. So I've been wanting to showcase... This is like the third thing I wanted to showcase most. And now that we got it, that's sick. So it's a pretty cool spec. I really do like how it, you know, works. It's really overpowered. So that's awesome. I, I heard they got it from Rogue Lineage. I'm not 100% sure, but apparently they did, which is pretty cool. But uh, anyways, let's get on to the moveset. So the first move is just the kick. You come over there and you press E. And you just knock him down. One of the passes about the stand, just in FYI, is a fire effect. When you hit someone, it does burn them for a little while, which does extra damage over on, overall, which is pretty cool. So the next move is the really damaging combo. You press R and you hit them, and it hits two hits, but you also teleport in the air if you hit this both hits. And it's basically a 45... <laughs> it does like 40 to 45 damage if you hit the two hit, if you hit one hit. But if you hit both hits, it automatically hits them in the air and you can basically, it's basically an insta kill. At least half health. Which is pretty cool. The next move is the T move, which is the slide. So if you hit it, it doesn't do that much damage. But it does do quite a bit if you do hit it, which I didn't because I'm stupid. But if you do get a good hit on it, it does like at least half health, which is great. Anyways, uh, on to one of the final moves. The Y move is just a ground slam. So you press Y and you like kick the ground with your foot. And anyone really anywhere near you just goes flying into the air. So it's a pretty good move for trying to get, you know, that done. So the next move is the H move. You disable their stance so they can't attack. So he can't hear me right now because for some reason he's glitching. So he, he can't attack me. I can stand in front of him. He It disables your stand until you die. So I can just execute him then. <laughs> Anyways, besides that, the only move left is the C move, which is just the infinite dash, which is incredibly overpowered. Um, like, if you want to get some- it doesn't damage you as you go anywhere, but it's incredibly OP for getting places. So other than that, that's the final move. Anyways, let's get on to the 1v1. Alright, so I'm probably dead. Actually, no, I'm not. I can use this. Oh, wait, I'm being destroyed. I have to get that good move on. Oh my god. So overall, it is a pretty good spec. Um, it, the, it has an S in a... has an S in destructive power, an A in speed, and a B in durability, which is its main setback in the fact that it doesn't have a stand shop. It only has the dash... Which is like, it's, it makes sense because it is really overpowered in terms of moves. The defense makes sense. I'm glad the defense is low. If the defense was high, it would be way too overpowered. It'd be like a pop platinum. Even pop platinum is better defense. And pop platinum is really annoying. So, that's the problem. Um, this stand, this spec is great. It is, it, where it doesn't really have a good design, obviously, because you know it's just that. It's all it is. But, um, I like it. It has really good moves. It has really good, you know, speed potential. It's a pretty good spec. Overall, I do like it. Anyways, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to leave a like, share, or subscribe. It'd be really appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.